Ooh, check it out, I got Android 5.1 running on my custom Note 4. Ooh. Hi folks, I'm so on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I've got uh, Android 5.1 running on my Galaxy Note 4. Um, this is my Sprint Galaxy Note 4, but this one is available for T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4, and also if you have Canadian Galaxy Note 4, and also if you have an SMN 910F, and it should also work with any international models uh, with Qualcomm CPU. Now, if you're looking for the best Android 5.1 Lollipop ROM out right now, definitely you should check this one out. Uh, it's got a ton of features. Um, you'll get the latest Android 5.1. It is super fast. Now, this is an AOSP ROM, so you're going to lose all of your uh, TouchWiz features, such as your IR Blaster, um, all of that stuff. So be aware before you install this, because you're going to lose all of that. This is only for those of you who enjoy AOSP ROMs, um, but it does make your phone super fast. It is it's like really, really fast. I've actually ran N22 on it. Uh, it. This should show you my last score. I think I got almost 52,000. Um, just take my word for it. Um, you get about 52,000. All right, also it comes with Super SU built in, so you don't have to do anything to root it or anything like that. Let me go ahead and show you some of the core features of this. Now, one thing to note, the camera is broke. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be a deal breaker for some of you. But if it does come with open camera, which works just fine. Um, now one note about this, everything works except for 4K. 4K actually works, but you get this weird uh, recording, um, but 1080p recording works just fine. So know that before installing, you can always make a backup ROM of your current ROM and try Android 5.1 um, if you want to try this Android 5.1. But this is the best ROM I've seen so far. Uh, I've actually used it uh, as daily driver fully yesterday, and it is really fast. Also comes with Viper for Android. Let me go ahead and show you some of the features about it. It is based on and, uh, CM 12.1. All right, but uh, it's got a ton more features. Um, so if you go to CM Remix here, you can go ahead and uh, customize your status bar, um, put your clock in the center if you want to, and battery status style, you can go ahead and change that. Uh, network traffic, you can also go ahead and enable that. Brightness control, uh, if you want to do this and control your brightness. All these features are in this ROM. So very good stuff and quick panels. You can go ahead and customize your panels here. Um, some things that's different than the regular CM, you can go ahead and also enable four tiles and also you can make everything smaller. So you can fit more uh, quick setting tiles there. So very good detailed Wi-Fi view. Um, there is also advanced location settings, sort of Android 5.1. Um, so if you press that, it will actually show you can quickly go access your battery saving device only. Um, you can set it to whatever very quickly. So very nice little little customizations. That's going to help you uh, become more efficient. Um, sounds, you can Viper for Android. You can go ahead and use that. Display and lights. There's a ton more stuff you can do. You can also change the DPI if you want, the density of your uh, screen. Double tap to sleep. All right, on the status bar, yeah, there we go. So it is a very nice ROM with a ton of features. I'm just gonna kind of go through these menus here. I, I don't wanna show you all of them, but you can go ahead and uh, check them all out. You can go ahead and uh, customize your buttons here. Uh, let's say I want double tap to open a camera, sort of like sort of like the uh, Galaxy S6, you can also do that. So watch this. Ah, sorry, my fingers are a little bit weird today because I've, it's kind of cold here and just, it's kind of hard to double tap. There we go. So that's really cool. You can go ahead and add double tap to camera, just like a Note, uh, Galaxy S6, sorry. All right, those are buttons. You can go ahead and um, do all of those. Now on top of that, you get tweaks. Um, yeah, that's right. You can get app circle bar. This is one of my favorites and you can go ahead and adjust the trigger with here um, ha Add more shortcuts there and Also, there is app sidebar. This is sort of similar, but it's kind of it's kind of like makes it like a PC sort of and you can add your sh shortcuts here ah. um, I'm Not sure why it's not working. Let me actually go ahead and add some apps It might be because I don't have any apps in here 
and boom shakalaka. Let's go ahead and save. And ah, there we go. Um, you'll be able to access your shortcuts. You can also go ahead and change the height so it won't trigger uh, when you are using the keyboard. Ah, there we go. All right, you may have to fiddle with it. Just get get it right the way you want to. Add blocker, smart control. This one's sort of similar to the Samsung feature. Um, you can go ahead and lift the phone to your ear uh, in the dialer and it will call directly. So very good prom, but it is like super fast. Switching between apps is so much faster than TouchWiz. So uh, it is a fun ROM. I mean, it's gonna get you on the latest Android 5.1. Again, it's actually nearly flawless, everything working except for the stock camera. You can go ahead and use the open camera. 4K doesn't work. Um, correctly and other than that is a very nice rom you can go ahead and install it so definitely check it out if you want to turn your note 4 into like a nexus device this is the ultimate way to go and also going to make you uh, make your performance like super fast and battery life should be very good also but do check it out for this week's rom of the week and i know some of you liked it when i posted this on twitter the other day um so if you have a note 4 uh with a qualcomm chip not AT&T or Verizon, well, they, they can't even install ROMs. Go ahead and check it out and do let me know what you think. And I know a lot of you are running this already. Um, and do let me know what you think. And as always, um, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I'll stay on Android.